Hello there friends, this is Tatiana and I'm back with a new Beat Saber tutorial. This time I will show you how you can downgrade your Beat Saber from within your Oculus Quest or Quest 2 headset instead of having to connect it to your PC every time you want to downgrade. This method was developed by Computer Elite, an experienced Beat Saber modder, so you can thank him in the comments for this creative and helpful solution. Downgrading allows you to go back to the version of Beat Saber which supports different mods that have not yet been updated to the most recent version of Beat Saber. For example, at the moment of this recording, the latest version of Beat Saber is 1.18.1, but the core BMPF mods for now are only updated to work with the version 1.17.1, so we would need to downgrade to install any mods and enjoy custom songs, sabers, blocks, walls, and others. Today we will be using a Quest app version switcher and what's cool about this app is that it can also create backup versions of any apps and not just Beat Saber all within your headset which will make it so much easier to backup your saved data and different mod configurations but we'll get to that later full disclosure you will still need your PC to configure the app version switcher at the very beginning but after that you will be able to downgrade your Beat Saber just by using your Oculus Quest or Quest 2 if you have any questions or run into any issues during this tutorial, please join Beat Saber Legacy Discord group. It's a very supportive community that will be able to help you with your questions. And with any modding related questions, please join Beat Saber Modding Community Discord. All the links are listed in the description below. So let's get started. First, we will need to get the app from SideQuest. Follow the guidelines on how to set up SideQuest either on your PC or on your Android phone in the corner of this video and in the description below. And when you're done, open SideQuest, make sure your Quest is connected and search for Quest App Version Switcher, all written as one word. Install this app on your headset and then start this app, which you will find in your library under Unknown Sources. Occasionally, the app might not start immediately. In that case, simply close it and open it again or restart your Quest or Quest 2 and that should solve the problem. Allow permissions. Here we get to the part where you will need your PC, but only for this step, and you don't need a powerful PC to do this step. In the bottom of the Tools and Options tab, you will see this IP address, which you will need to put in exactly as you see it here in your browser. This will open the exact same window on your computer. We are now getting to the most important part, getting your Oculus token. Essentially, in order to downgrade your Beat Saber, you need to have bought and installed your Beat Saber. You can't just download a downgraded APK because that would be piracy. Oculus token is needed to show that you have purchased this game and legally own it. However, this information is private and confidential. This token allows you to download apps, send messages all in your name, so never share this token with anyone. Now, let's see where you can find this token. Open the Oculus website and make sure that you're logged in with your Oculus ID that owns Beat Saber. Chrome will be the best browser to use here. Then you will need to open Developer Tools by pressing F12 or Ctrl Shift I. Then click on the Network Elements and after that, refresh this page by clicking F5 or on this refresh button next to the address bar. Next, in this network tab, search for GraphQL and click on the very last search result. Switch the tab to Headers, and this is where your private information is stored. Don't share it with anyone. I obviously won't share it with you. But the token we are looking for is stored down below under Form Data Access Token. Make sure to select and copy the entire token and paste it in the app. Then select and type in the password to encrypt your token. You will use this password to download downgraded versions of the app, so don't forget it. Although if you do forget it, you can just put in your token again and set up a new password. For extra security, make sure you set up a new password which you never used anywhere else. And now we're done with the hard part. You will not need your PC anymore and all further steps can be done directly from your headset. Go to the Downgrade tab and click on Search to open the Beat Saber app. 
and here you will see all the available versions that you can downgrade to. Today I will downgrade to the version 1.17.1, but for you it may be a different version. I recommend joining the Beat Saber modding community Discord to get the latest information about the most recent version of Beat Saber that has all working mods. When you click on it, here is where you need to put in the password for the token that you created earlier and start downloading. You can check the progress of the downloading by going to the download progress bar. It should be completed in just a few minutes. After that, go back to Tools and Options tab and here click on Change App and select Beat Saber. The exact name should be com.beatgames.beatsaber. Now that you have selected this app, go to the Backup tab, select the downgraded version you want to install, again in my case it's 117.1, and click on Restore Backup. Keep in mind that this will override your current version of Beat Saber, including your saved data. So if you don't want to lose it, you can back it up first by typing the name of your backup file and clicking on Create Backup. You can use this function to create a backup for any game you have on your quest. Simply go to Tools and Options, select the game for which you want to create a backup, then go to the Backup tab, type in the name, something you can recognize, like the title of the game and backup, and then click on this button. That's it! So once again, make sure that you have selected Beat Saber app, then click on the restore file that you want to use to downgrade and click on restore. Proceed with the installation. Click on start uninstall. Simply follow the steps that you see on the screen. Your Beat Saber will be uninstalled from your headset and the app will ask you to give permissions to install unknown apps. Switch the toggle right here. Here is asking if we want to restore any game data from the backup. But this downgraded version doesn't have any of our saved data, so we can just skip this step. And now we are ready to install our downgraded version of Beat Saber. Just follow the steps and when it's finished, click on Done. The app may crash, but it does not affect the process. Simply click on Close and that's about it. Now you can see that our Beat Saber is downgraded because when you click on it, it will prompt you to update the game. Don't do that, obviously. Click on Update Later and start the game. Now you will see the version that you downgraded to down below and that means you can go ahead and install BMBF and enjoy all the compatible mods and custom songs. Remember to follow my tutorials for modding your Beat Saber and adding custom songs. The links are attached in the description below. Remember to join the Beat Saber modding community Discord as well as Beat Saber Legacy Discord if you have any questions regarding downgrading or modding process. Thank you very much for watching, stay safe and as always, happy sabering!